at all that buttermilk. Yeah, buddy. I have shrimp and lemons and mushrooms and garlic, and I'm going to make some buttered broccoli as well. So my cozy reading night is going to be off to a bing, bang, boom with some tasty supper and possibly a snacks later on. Got me some butter going. Me some garlic in there. Ooh, woo. It's already smelling good and I hadn't put anything but butter and garlic in it. It's not quite six o'clock here in Oklahoma and I'm not going to start cozy reading night till seven by time because seven to ten is kind of the accepted norm for this. But I wanted to go ahead and get food prepped. I have my shrimp cooking and I've just detailed it uh, because they had fresh shrimp with tail on and they were like the big, bigger, medium sized or you could get tail off, but they were all extra small. And I don't know about you, but unless I'm making shrimp nachos, I need me some like real shrimp. None of those little baby scrawny things going on. And I also got some mushrooms that these are already sliced. So I was gonna dice them up a little bit more, but I think I'm just going to take a handful and throw them in there. So I've got some good meaty mushrooms in. Uh, like I said earlier, I have butter and garlic and lemon already in there. So just a good handful. No, I need more than that. Come here. Just take a bunch of it, put them in there. Woo! If you can see that. Uh, the funny thing is that I love cooking. And I always forget that I love cooking because I'm a teacher and a single mom. And yeah, we live with my parents, but my mom watches the baby during the day. And then I come home and the seven-year-old obviously goes to school with me. We get home somewhere around 4.30 to 5 every day because it's a 30-minute drive to where I teach and she goes to school. And by the time I get home, mom has either already made dinner or they've decided that they want us to go out to eat. Or I'm so tired that I think, oh, it would be so much easier to have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or, you know, to go out. And, of course, the baby doesn't care because she just gets a bottle. And uh, the seven-year-old is always like, oh, happy meal. Okay. But then I decided that I want something like this, and I make it, and it's like, oh yeah, I love to cook. And this is cheaper and healthier, but you know, my dumbass forgets that I like to cook. So there's that. All right, the water was boiling. I have, wait, I'm gonna put all the broccoli in. All the broccoli. No more broccoli for us. All the broccoli. All right, so I've got all the broccoli in there. Look at this, this looks so great. We've got broccoli, I'm gonna put the lid on that, bring it to a boil. I've got shrimp and mushrooms just hanging out. This is gonna be so good. I am salivating. Cannot wait to eat this. Oh, the baby's awake. All right, all right. She did wake up. But now we're back. Somebody had her own supper. And now we're checking on Mama's. Look at that. Ooh, almost done. And her and Sissy are going to be part of Cozy Reading Night too. So you may see a couple more appearances. Special guest stores. They're going to read some books together. And Mama's going to read to both of them. Okay, it is now seven. All of us are in our pajamas. I've got a cute Insta ham and cozy penguins and scarfs bottoms. Lane is over there with a tangled nightgown, and she's already started reading. She's been reading out loud to Ray, and you'll see more of that in a minute. And there's Ray, just hanging out. Say hi, everybody. Oh, isn't she adorable? My girls are awesome spending reading night with me, and I've grabbed a few books. I started uh, Aunt Dimity, Vampire Hunter, earlier today on my e-reader, which is my phone, so you can't see that, but uh, I'm in chapter three now, and then I've got these four to pick from as we eat and hang out, and I'm going to read some of Magic Treehouse when Elena gets tired of reading out loud. I'm going to take a turn, so I think we're going to be busy for a couple of hours. I'm a big bat, but I'm also called a flag fox. It comes strong. Uh, it can walk and run. When it's the flag fox. It's the fox. Be home before dark, their mom said. We will, called Jack. 
Bye, Mom, Annie shouted. Jack and Annie slipped out of their house into the snowy cold. The tree house started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Chapter four, Take My Sleigh. All right, so it's a little after 10 now, so technically I should be done with Cozy Reading Night. But uh, about an hour ago, my parents came back home from a long day out, and the girls had not seen them all day. So, of course, there was a flurry of Elena getting up out of the bed. I had just put her in to run and hug them and get Gaga to tuck her in because Gaga does it better than Mama does. And Melody Ray Lynn chose that point to decide that she wasn't sleepy, but she was hungry. She needed to pop it older and roll with her. And she had to play with Gaga. And then she had to screech and giggle at Mama and do all of the things babies do. So I lost the last hour of Cozy Reading Night. And my first hour of Cozy Reading Night was spent uh, reading uh, Magic Treehouse out loud to the girls. So I definitely don't want to just give up that hour. Uh, so I'm going to get this one settled down hopefully and we'll be back with a little bit more vlogging about whatever it is that I read in the last hour of Cozy Reading Night. So getting her to settle down didn't really work because as soon as I tried to lay her down her eyes popped open and she was like da ha fooled ya. So we're watching NCIS. I'm going to read She Loves NCIS. She actually said Gibbs the other day while looking at the television waiting for me to unpause it. She's five months old guys. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I also forgot that I had cake. So my calorie count is ruined for the day. But uh, my seven-year-old made this cake and it is the best dang chocolate cake with chocolate icing you ever had in your life. So I'm going to eat this and not complain about the calories even a little bit. Um, and I'm going to read. So I've read the first four chapters of Upside Down Magic, whether or not. I have read the first six chapters of Aunt Dimity, uh, Vampire Hunter, I believe is the title of that one. And I've still got Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. Um, Wonder House, I think is the name of that other one. Stories for, scary stories for foxes. And than the one about the 11 year old girl who likes poison to uh, read snippets of. So I'm gonna grab one and start shoveling cake in my face while the kid watches NCIS. Now, okay, now since it's so late, what I'm gonna do to kind of wrap up Cozy Reading Night is I'm going to read the first chapter from each of the other four books that I was hoping to read a little bit from tonight. Um, I'm not upset at all that I spent over an hour reading to and hearing my seven year old read to me. However, I did miss out on a lot of the reading I had planned to do because she decided she wanted to do Cozy Reading Night with me, which makes me happy. And now she wants to do it like every weekend. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm going to start with chapter one of Dead Until Dark. So I guess this is kind of a try a chapter tag in the middle of Cozy Reading Night. I'll let you know what I think. Okay, the first line is great. I've been waiting for the vampire for years when he walked into the bar. I'm also pretty sure that's the first line in the True Blood television show as well. Something like that. So that's great. I don't know why, but I am particularly fond of this kind of chalk drawing look on books. I like chalk drawings. I think they're really cool. But this kind of font that looks like those chalk sandwich boards they have outside of delis and um, sandwich shops and coffee shops and whatever. That look, I am really digging that on books lately. And I think that may have been what grabbed my attention. Um, the red and black foxes and in a chalk font kind of format. That really grabbed my attention Then the book sounded cool. So I am looking forward to seeing what this is about. Okay, I am about to read my last first chapter and wrap up Cozy Reading Night. So I'm going to read a little bit out of The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley and uh, see what I think about that. I'm super excited. Okay, the first sentence is, it was as black in the closet as old blood. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. My hour's not quite over, but I found myself dozing a little bit, even though I am thoroughly enjoying this book. I did finish the first chapter of The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie, and I cannot wait to find out why what happened at the end of the chapter freaked out 
Flavia, our main character's dad. Um, it seems like it's going to be really good. And I love me a good mystery. Um, I did kind of enjoy Dead Until Dark, but I'll read it, probably finish it, but there's no telling with me, you know, it's whatever. Now, Scary Stories for Young Foxes, I read Chapter 1, which is actually kind of an introduction. It doesn't say Chapter 1, it just starts with a story, and then um, you get to the end of that little section, and there's a new story, and I did not read that story. Um, there are seven short stories in this book. I'm really, really looking forward to reading them. The sort of beginning of the book was beautifully written, and I cannot wait to find out if that continues through the rest of the stories. Winter House, the first chapter was really short, but it's very intriguing, and I can't wait to know more about that one. And then Upside Down Magic, uh, whether or not I said earlier I had read the first five chapters, I did not read any more of it, but I do really enjoy this book and series, and I am looking forward to finishing that one as well. Um, and I am still reading Aunt Dimity Vampire Hunter by Nancy Atherton on my Kindle, and am looking forward to finding out what all the hubbub in that book right now is about as well. So I think I picked a bunch of good books, had a really great cozy reading night, especially since I got to share it with my girls and we had a lot of fun. So I will leave you guys with that. I don't normally vlog. Hopefully I get this um, edited, put together, and it looks somewhat decent. Uh, it's going to be longer than my normal videos. Obviously, you know that if you've held out to the end. So good job. Um, other than that, if you participated in Cozy Reading Night, I would love to hear about it. If you made a video, leave a link to it in the description. If not, just uh, tell me. Tell me about it. Tell me what you did this Saturday night. And I will talk to you again soon. Uh, come talk to me in the comments about the books that I'm reading, that you're reading, that the Loch Ness Monster is reading, whatever. Have a great night. Bye.